Okay, we're gonna go do Gwendolyn right now, and then I think we'll do Priscilla after that, just because, you know, it's right here. And then I gotta go back and do, what, Taurus Demon? Uh, Capra Demon, Gaping Dragon, and Moonlight Butterfly. I guess we'll probably do Sif too while I'm doing Moonlight Butterfly. I don't forget. And then that should be all the optional stuff, and then we'll just do the Lord Souls, and then the DLC. And then that'll be another run. Oh my god. Should have locked on there. One hit. That's good. It's gonna take forever. Please, give me arrows. This honestly feels like a Demon Souls boss. One more hit, one more hit. Thank you. Like, this is a boss you would, I would picture, would fit in with the Demon Soul stuff. Uh, okay, five straight. Something different, well. Well, back to this again. Eris, thank you. Yeah, the sniper crossbow was like the one run I made it to the end of this hallway on, because you can really only get one shot <laughs> before he disappears. That was a brutal run. Oh, Heretic Swayed in Dark. Okay, whatever. He's dead. Oh, Heretic Swayed in Dark. So dramatic. Dude, the health? I always forget how big the health bar is. Also with Vapring, though, it makes it bigger, but still. It's pretty dang big. Painted world time. It's a very large painting. Never really looked behind when you when you run on the bridge either. I guess there's not much going on though. think that would reach me. Oh, bad, bad place to do that. All right, time to go face the bone wheels. I never expect to make it out of that room alive. God, I want to do another Fog Gate randomizer. That was so much fun. I love the Fog Gate randomizers in this game. Because there's just so many Fog Gates that don't lead to bosses. I think that was like one of the 
the downsides of the DS3 fog gate randomizer. Because most of them just lead to bosses or are on the other side. Like, there's just more fog gates in this game, I guess. Like, more transition fog gates. And, like, PvP fog gates. I really want one for DS2, like a like a non-janky one. Right, are we gonna make it out of here? I'm gonna guess no. I am right. Isn't there a... Uh, what is it? What's at the top of the annex? Isn't there a ember? Dark ember or something? Is that here? Or am I... Crazy. No, dark ember's in... I don't remember. There's one in Tomb of the Giants. What the hell is at the top of the annex? I thought there was an ember there or something. I'm pretty sure there is. No, Divine never sent Tomb of the Giant. No, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Ow. Big chunky hit. Why does my to move by death? Oh, immediate uh, visibility. Give me that dagger. Take it. But why? Now I'm looking forward to doing a tail cut. On Priscilla with a dagger. S start, skip, hello? <laughs> Get me out of there. Alright, uh, we'll do Taurus Demon, then Capra Demon, and then Gaping Dragon, I guess. And then just Butterfly after that, for the optional stuff. Oh, hang on. Got to show that. My other monitor, okay. Do we need... Does it matter if we... Yeah, I don't care if this closes. This part's a little annoying because I don't have that open. Ow. Dude, those things send you flying. I can't, I can't get a hit off. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Maybe not the best spot to heal. I didn't think there would be a rat literally right next to me, though, to be fair. Going. I thought, that, I thought there would be some space. I was gonna heal like a, before I dropped down the ladder, but I thought the boar might hit me, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll just drop down." Clearly, did not work.
Oh, it didn't. They didn't close this. Interesting. All right, we should be good now. Where did you come from? You chased me all the way down here? Yeah, I gotta do Taurus Demon first, otherwise I'm gonna forget him. I almost forgot him on one run, because I came this way and just, like, had Capra on my mind, because I know that run is going to be terrible, and I I killed Capra and then just completely forgot about Taurus Demon until, like, almost the end of the run. So we're going to go do him now, and then we'll come back for Capra and Gaping. I could use Pine Resin, too. I don't think it's really going to be that good on this, though. I mean, like... This damage is fine, and it's just slow. That's the problem. Charge! Cool. I hate that that has a lingering hitbox. You can dodge the, the impact, but then still get hit just because. I wonder if it's faster to just go this way. Probably not. Probably better to bone out and then uh, just run. You know what? It's fine. Honestly, it's probably what I should I, I should have done that from the beginning. <laughs> but I got the shortcut opened up this way, so it's fine. All right. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. The heal. It's probably gonna fight me. I couldn't get down the stairs because I healed. Just too slow. What is shooting me? Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna come down here and heal. I hate this part, dude. They're still chasing? Everything chased me off. Huh? Hopefully there's nothing at the top. No, he backstabbed me going into the... This is so annoying. It's happened before. They can actually... Like, I've been grabbed after I hit A there. Oh, boy. I'm probably dead. Mm, not good. I am dead. 
Oh, I hate this fight, dude. I hate that Capra can hit you up here with the leaping attack. That's what killed me, ultimately. And I just couldn't heal it. I should have gone down. Tried to heal. This fight sucks. Not, it's, it's literally everything about it. The run is terrible. The fight is bad. It's just an awful situation all around. Like, you take any damage here and you're just already at a disadvantage. Because I, I, when am I going to heal? Like, there's no time for me to heal going into this fight. If I heal, I'm going to die. Okay, I thought he was going to be in front of me. Yeah, we're just going to wing it. Problem is I can't see anything. Dogs. Here we go again. I, yeah, dude, there's just like... If he does the jump attack, I'm just screwed. Because he takes like half of my health out. And I have no poise to, to poise through the dogs and heal. Or killed, or even hit them. Such an awful spot to be in. The whoa! Okay, one dog's dead at least. Where's the other one? All right. It's fine. You just there, there's no time to heal. Like I'm healing before he's even queued up an attack, and I still get hit by the slam. Like if I heal now, he's not doing anything, and then I'm gonna get hit. I can't do anything. It takes so long to heal in this game, and it sucks. that not hit. It's pretty crazy. Capron even kind of looks, well, aside from the tail, I guess, he just kind of looks like a dude, like a, a larger dude with a, like a mask on, essentially. Alright, well, how the hell are we gonna get out of here? I guess we're gonna charge. Oh, never mind. No poise. Alright, everyone up here. Come on. Come on. Don't bleed me. Stemming out. Safe. Okay, cool. Oh, God, that fight is just so obnoxious. That sucks. Mm, is this worth doing? You know what? No, we're not going to do that. Oh, we can go this way. Forgot. It's a little bit longer, but... And now I gotta watch out for the Torch Hollow. Two torch hollows, dude. The torch hollows are so brutal. 
I want you to do that much damage. I'm scared of these things too, honestly. I think we have to take the long way around though, now. I don't remember what the long way is, to be honest. How to get the... Uh, on the other side of that door. This way? Or something? I always get lost in the depths. I think we gotta go here. I guess we can kill the Chandler, too. If we're coming this way. We'll try to, anyway. One shot him. This is not great. And I hit the wall, and I'm probably dead. I am so dead. I know there's a way to get into Gaping Dragon's Arena from here. You, like, need to jump on this railing somehow. Land on the railing and then jump down to the arena, which is pretty hard. I'm really regretting this no-poise strat I have going on. Also, I have no clue where I'm going. Dude, can you, like, not be in the way? You're not dead? Oh, you are dead now. Oh, no, this is right, right? This is where the giant rat is, and then... Oh, please don't kill me. I have no clue how much damage this thing does in NG+. I'm gonna grab this door. I do not want to have to make this run again. <laughs> it's so... So obnoxious for how short it can be. I thought that thing was going to block my path and I was going to have to kill another one of these things. All right, so what did, what did, after this we're going to do Moonlight Butterfly. Let's sif. Flasher lumberjack build? Yeah, I guess so, right? Pretty much. Wasn't what I was going for, but it's kind of how it ended up. Yeah, I'll just keep hitting your hand. Sure, that's fine. Big hit. One more? No. I got it. Do do do. Where are my homeward bones? They're equipped. Alright. Undead perish. I 
I do not miss farming those guys. Or killing them, rather. Titanite demons, those, uh, they hit pretty hard. And we still have a bunch of runs where we gotta get them, but... Not this one. Taurus Demon, Capra Demon, Gaping Dragon, Priscilla, Gwendolyn, Stray Demon, and now Butterfly. And that should be it for the optional stuff. And then it's just all the mandatory bosses. Which, I guess, technically some are optional, but... For the purposes of this run, they are not. Oh my god, I'm just gonna keep moving. Red X is kind of nice, though. I like it. I think slow weapons are just better in Dark Souls 1 and 2, honestly. Because the games are just slower. They fit them more. DS3, like, they work, and it's Elden Ring, too. Actually, Elden Ring, they're better, though, because... Because the poise system. That and jump attacks make them pretty good. But speed is definitely king, I think, in the later games. Like Post-Bloodborne, basically, or post-DS2, really. Because Bloodborne is all about speed. Should have came here with more than five heals. This is going to be painful. God, I hate that attack. It just comes out so quickly. You have, like, no time to react. I, I rolled there, but sure. I'm rolling, dude. Why is my character not rolling? Oh my god. So lucky I didn't get hit there. It's not ready for this. It's gonna be at least two cycles, probably. to be is the most boring fight apart from Beta Chaos? Might be this one, honestly. You're just kind of waiting. Unless you have, like, some sort of range, anyway. Uh -oh. oh, now he goes down. Or she, or it. I don't know. And she healed. Or it healed. I don't know what this is. I'm just... I'm going for it. Oh, all right. I don't know. I'm trying to, like, run through all the fights in my head. It's probably Moonlight Butterfly, though, because you just kind of can't do anything. 
with a melee weapon for, you know, two minutes. And then you get a chance to attack, and if you don't kill it, then you gotta wait another two minutes. So, kinda sucks. After this, I could check to see if that slab is still in uh, the asylum. I highly doubt it is, but but maybe it is. Do bed of chaos? Let's do. We might should do see if maybe see if then bed of chaos. Doggo, yep. Not to be a dead doggo. Stop hopping away. Okay, maybe I'm gonna be a dead doggo. Minus the doggo part. Can't land a hit. Oh, God, I hate that attack. Oh, fell over. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, this bonfire's gonna be out too, I just remembered. Oh, it's not out. Wait, it should be. Oh, she's not dead though. An alternative cutscene? I, I've seen it. I, I don't think I've done it though on one of these runs. I always forget. Like, because I always do the DLC last. Or, you know, obviously before Gwyn, but. Um, I just, I always forget. There was like one run I think I meant to do it and I just forgot to. Whatever I had to get dark beat for the magic run, I think. I put the Lord Vessel down, right? <laughs> ah. I did not. Let's go do Four Kings. Hopefully they won't be bad with this damage. I mean, the damage should be fine. I'm just not at max. It'll be fine. Oh, okay, that was close. I accidentally backstepped off the thing.
I'm gonna try and run through the uh, part with the ladder up to that dude again. I did it in New Game, luckily, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna work here. We can try it though. Okay, I still one-shot them. That's sick. Assuming you hit them. This is insane tracking. Stop, please. Let me get the ladder. All right, we're gonna try and just run through here. See if this works. Half the time it like just doesn't, and you die. Which is why I always kill the ghosts. But uh, whatever. Yeah, like, if I get staggered, it's already over. I'm not gonna make it up this. Too late. No chance. This segment sucks, man. Ah, uh, right, I gotta remember to quit out. I... I'm gonna quit out, I think, at that ladder or something. I don't know what happens if you quit out on a ladder. But I wonder, I wonder, like, how, how well quitouts would work here. I don't know, we'll see. If I quit out at, like, the base of the ladder, hopefully that'll, uh, help. Like, I don't know why I never thought to do it. Probably because I can never remember how to quit out. Because it's different in every game. <laughs> it's so annoying to try and do it. I think really there's one ghost. I, I, I wouldn't even say you need to kill the ghosts. I think you can maybe get past them somehow. Like these ones you can run past, but it's like the one that's blocking the entrance in that first room. Or the exit, rather. That one's annoying to run by. I think I did it on the parrying dagger run that I don't remember what I did. Well, I, I'm also not sure if I did do it. It's the one at the end of this hallway here, this guy. I forgot I got the shortcut too, so I could have just skipped this. Oh well. I also don't know if the transient curse lasts if I quit out. I'm gonna say it doesn't. I don't know how much health I have. <laughs> hopefully enough. And hopefully I can get up this. They spawn like immediately. I'm making it up this. There's a ghost like right. Oh my god. No. Nope. Even quitting out. Crying for the knives? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I hope I don't run out of transient curses, because if I do, then I gotta curse myself and do it. Luckily, they drop them, so. But yeah, that's not gonna be fun.
I don't know how. Let me try quitting out on the ladder and see if that does anything. How many curses do I have? I think I have like two left. Three, okay. And there's a couple more I can pick up too. Yeah, I always hate this segment. Having to get up to this guy and then doing four kings. Four kings usually isn't bad unless your weapon sucks, but... The ghosts are, like, always a thorn in my side. Yeah, they're probably going to be uh, a lot of weapons that are going to suck to farm. Chandler's Trident. It's pretty bad. At least, like, the drop percentage is bad. I'm sure there's more. Let's see. Can you quit out on a ladder? I mean, you can quit out on a ladder. I just don't know where it puts you. If it puts you, like, at the bottom, it kind of sucks, but... If it puts you on the ladder? Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know. Not great. Give it another shot, though. Problem is, you also, like, you have to, like, stand up, and it takes forever to do that, and then I immediately get hit. Twice. Three times, probably. Just climb. Four times. Come on. Yeah, I think we're good. Hate that part. Please. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh my god. I thought I missed it. Where to go? Over here? Then drop down here somewhere. There we go. I gotta put the ring on too before I forget. Just making sure I put it on. <laughs> Don't want to jump down and then die immediately. Of course. Starting with magic. I saw a post on Reddit, the Dark Souls subreddit. Made me laugh. Some guy was confused about this fight because he couldn't hit four kings. It turns out he just wasn't close enough to them. <laughs> Depth reception here is really screwed up, though, to be fair. And that made me laugh. So I know what that feels like. Uh oh. I don't know where he is. Where is he? <laughs> oh, magic again, of course. Oh, 
What? How did that hit me? I think I was kind of close there. Come on, dude. This is awful. Okay, yeah, this is not good. I don't know if we can get through this one. We're gonna get like three kings at a time. Potentially four. It's probably like another one behind me somewhere. Oh, that one just spawned in. Come on! Alright, still barely alive. Do like a vertical slash or something. Yeah, this is not good. There's a, there's a wall here. I'm pretty sure there's a wall here, anyway. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh my god. Yeah, it's definitely a wall here. This is just like horrible RNG. Still horrible RNG. Oh my god. More magic. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I got three Novas in a row. I keep getting magic spammed. Like, so stupid. That's why this fight sucks. Just let me heal. And don't give me any magic attacks. All right, who's, who's, you? Who? The thing that sucks though, is you just have to like watch out for, for like that. Like one of the Kings just like coming out of nowhere and just poking you. When another one is attacking you? That's the worst part of this fight. I think I'm against a wall. And more magic. I'll see. It's like, it's so close. To, they're so close to dead. And I'm dead. Someone's gonna do a magic attack, probably. Like, I don't know who to go for. <laughs> what is that hitbox? I feel like I got around that. I'd be surprised if I make it through this. Oh my god. It literally can't just, like, I go to attack the one dude is alone, then he does a Nova. This guy's almost dead. That's all I know. Yeah. That was just horrible RNG, man. Like... Just absolutely terrible RNG. Because this damage isn't bad, it's just I, I literally could not get, it, like, one king down at a time. I kept getting Novas and magic spamming. There's a grab there, too. If you get grabbed, it eats up so much time.
I think they spawn was every 40 seconds or so. If you get grabbed, you're you're like you can't do anything for 15 seconds, I think. Maybe maybe not that much. A little bit. Yeah, no, one of them did three Novas in a row. I think it was it was like either like three out of four attacks for Novas or it was three Novas in a row. It was it was pretty bad. Pray for better RNG. Like, that's the thing. It's such an RNG dependent fight if you have uh, low damage. Okay, guess this is how we're doing this one. One Nova, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for another one. I, like, I just expect the worst, you know? Like, if I get one Nova, I expect, like, another three. Oh, here's another one. I think I can kill him, though. Oh, nice kick. Got him. I won't count the second one because I killed him on it. Oh, here's another one. Pushed by something. I wonder if it's better just to do R2 here, honestly. It's a little slower, but I'm only. Oh, there's another one. The other thing is, too, if you get hit by them in NG+, like, they do so much damage to you, you need to pretty much heal. And that takes time, too. It's not as bad as the Nova, though. <laughs> the Nova and the Grab. This is definitely much better than the last one, but... There's the Nova, and there's the other king! Uh, holy crap, I didn't know he's right there. And a grab. free bonfire 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 snake man yo wow he's got a lot of dialogue Are the three kings i think that was four it's usually four in NG+. Plus. This. All right. Did I kill three? Really? Uh, 
I thought it was four. Um, I guess we'll go Seath. Try to do Seath this time. Then we'll actually put the Lord Vessel down. I don't know. Honestly, I was just like so uh, concerned with not dying. I don't know how many I killed. I feel like it was four, though. The thing is, they have so much health in, in NG+, Plus that, like, it's hard to only kill three. Or maybe the fourth one didn't, I don't know. Fourth one didn't die, I guess. Whoa, whoa, controller, please. How many souls do you get at NG plus seven? Oh, I have no clue. I have never gone that high. Probably a lot, though. I think you get like 180 on NG plus, so. More than that. Yeah, let's see if we can just kill this thing. Dead? Dead. Sick. I'm dead, though. I like how it makes a sound when you lower your axe to block. It's quiet, but you might be able to hear it. I can't. Uh, I, I don't know if it's coming through that loudly. It's like a little softer than the footsteps. Oh, the elevator's gonna be up top, too, which means the boars are gonna get in my way, probably. Pain! Maybe they get in their own way. Nope, they got in my way. I guess we'll do this. Can't really not do it. Dude, the, uh, the last randomizer I did in this game, I had, like, just so many boars. It was... I had, like, boars and chain prisoners everywhere. This is just awful. Horrible start. Ow. God. Uh, it's not good. This is real bad. Okay, I should probably heal. I was just praying like I didn't get frame trapped by an arrow or something. Two hits. It's so fun chasing things down with this. Not gonna lie. 
running attack is a, a lot of fun. Timber, you know, chopping things down. No curse, no curse, no curse, no curse, no curse. Oh, that was close. Really should start putting an armor there, honestly. this move teeth boss sounds like a Christmas chorus I can hear it a little bit Silence. It's golden. So what after this? Do we want to do Nito or do we want to do Beta Chaos? I don't really want to do Nito. I kind of never want to do, to be honest. Chandler Striden? No, probably not. Magic! I knew I was getting hit by it as soon as I heard it. I hate that going down ladders in this game, you just have to hit B. Because in every other game, if you do that, you die. <laughs> like, if you had a ladder this height anyway, you would just die. So you gotta remember, like, how to actually go down a ladder in each game. Or at least in this game versus the other Souls games. 